Okay, so as I understand uh, student-centered learning, uh, the seven points, a lot of them, I think, kind of unpack each other. Uh, for example, you sort of want students to have a certain degree of choice in how they're going to uh, ex kind of communicate. Uh, and part of that involves showing them the tools they can use to communicate, or some of the different tools they can use to communicate anyways. Um, but there's also giving them feedback. It's obviously not, you know, they get to choose everything because you're, you're also kind of targeting things they need to grow on and work on. But then in turn, that's so that they can kind of choose how to, uh, in some cases, because that's part of self-monitoring. Um, it all makes a lot of sense to me. Um, I think it's a really great framework to teach within. 